hello <clears throat> hello everyone this is blood queen tarot and i am i am here to do an after dark reading this is for divine feminine versus divine masculine after dark so we're gonna see what's going on um the divine feminine is going to be to my left <clears throat> so it's to y'all right and divine masculine is to my right and it's gonna to y'all is to y'all left so Divine Feminine on this side and Divine Masculine over here. So, I'm going to go ahead and jump right in for time's sake. My, something is in my eye. Oh, God. Okay, so let me see what's going on. What's going on with Divine Feminine for After Dark? Angel of Love. This came out before the last um after dark reading I did a couple of days ago. This came out before, so divine feminine. This is your energy. You can have an angel around you, angelic presence. Um, this could signify new romance. This could signify healing. But this angel of love here is like for protection. It's like protection. What energy is Divine Masculine in? What's going on with Divine Masculine after dark? Yin Yang. So, your Divine Masculine is in his Yin energy. So, I think that's the feminine. Your Divine Masculine could be in his feminine energy. And I believe that's about um intuition. Yin is a, being intuitive. Yeah, I believe that's about intuition. Intuition. Let me, let me double check. Something is in my eye. No, yin. Yeah, the yin is feminine, but it's about, um, no, that's not intuition. Um, yeah. So, your Divine Masculine is, like, in his feminine energy. Yin is feminine. But this is, like, um, kind of, like, I want to say the higher font for some reason. Because it's, like, internal things that's going on under under the surface. So, your Divine Masculine could be getting, like, convicted. He could be evolving. He could be going through his dark night of the soul. He could be getting downloads. So, um, he's... Probably not take an action towards you, Divine Feminine. Um, because he's dealing with things from the inside out. Yeah, he's being worked on from the inside. And like I said, that could be him being convicted, corrected, him receiving down downloads, things like that. So clarify angel of love for divine feminine. Mm. Yeah, disruption. Divine Feminine, whatever this this disruption energy is or was, that's why this angel of love is here. This angel of, of love is here to protect you in or provide healing concerning whatever this disruption is or was. Yep. What's going on with Divine Masculine with Yin energy? Wisdom. Yeah. Your Divine Masculine getting downloads. Yep. He's receiving downloads. He's getting some wisdom and knowledge about certain things, whatever this is. I'll try to get into specifically um, what's going on with him from within. So, your Divine Masculine, if he's not awakened already, he's going through the process. Yeah. So, he's probably going through a dark night of the soul. If not, he's just receiving downloads. But I can say he's awakened. Probably the beginning stages of, of his awakening. Or the middle stages of his awakening. Because he's gaining insight and wisdom on something. So let me put I'm a, a kipper message on this energy. What's going on with Divine Feminine with this angel of love? Yeah, this is the horizon. 
distant horizons could be traveling distant horizons could be illusion fantasy um divine feminine you could be um also distant horizons is like um what i want to say like dreams <laughs> like you know dreams goals things like that Um, so Divine Feminine, you could be, um, needing some type of healing from like a past illusion. You could have been under some type of illusion in the past. Um, probably concerning your Divine Masculine. And you, this angel of love is here and you're probably able to turn your back on this illusion. Because <laughs> the distant horizons is like someone who has a dream and a hope, but whatever this dream and hope is. It's not as practical as it should be. That's why the, the the horizon is like distant. Because it's like a dream that has to be made into reality. Like, are you willing to put in the work concerning whatever this hope, um, this dream or goal is? And it could also be an illusion. Like the seven of cups. Some type of spell work. Fantasy land, something like that. So you, you're healing or being protected from this energy. Clarify disruption with divine feminine. Yeah, change. There was some type of change, divine feminine, that caused you a disruption. There was some type of change. Um, divine feminine, you could have relocated. You could have physically moved um, from one state to another, from one city to another. Divine Feminine, I don't know. You could be going through a divorce or something like that. Um, what I got initially, some of y'all Divine Feminines was involved with a karmic, possibly even married to a karmic. And that's where this distant horizons come from, like this illusion. You could have been involved with a karmic and um, you could be divorcing that karmic. Could be going through some type of divorce, separating from a karmic. Masculine energy. What's going on with divine masculine and yin energy? Yeah, gift. Gift. Um, your divine masculine could be tapping into it into his intuitive gifts. He could be tapping it into tapping into his gifts. So he's being passive and receiving some type of wisdom and knowledge about whatever this gift is. Your divine masculine could be um, getting messages, divine feminine, that you are gifted. This gift card could also be a pregnancy. This could be a pregnancy. This gift card could also represent like a holiday or a birthday. I'm getting a little bit that divine masculine. He's like reminiscing. So say like this gift was like y'all anniversary or this Christmas that just passed. Valentine's that's just, that just passed. It's like your divine masculine is like getting wisdom and downloads concerning possibly the last time you guys was together. It could have been a holiday. The gift could be a holiday. He could have taken you for granted, Divine Feminine. Clarify, he's realizing he's he could have taken you for granted. What's going on with wisdom with Divine Masculine? Yeah, false person. Mm -hmm. False person. So, your Divine Masculine could be realizing and accepting the fact that he was being a false person. Yep. What's going on with Divine Feminine with this Angel of Love? I should have brushed my hair or something before. What's going on with Divine Feminine with this Angel of Love? God. Okay. So, the King of Swords and the Hierophant. Mm-hmm. Divine Feminine, you definitely protected. 
<clears throat> like I said, this angel of love came up in my last after dark reading. So divine feminine. After dark hours, literally the nighttime, or you could be going through like a dark night of the soul yourself, but you are heavily protected. And um, you're healing from something. Um, because the king of swords to me sometimes could be like spirit. The king of swords, this can to me, um, yeah, because that sword, the king of swords to me is like um the most high and the higher front right here so yeah you're being protected and guarded by the most high the higher front your higher self the higher front major arcana for taurus divine feminine you could be a taurus don't have to be your divine masculine masculine can be a taurus don't have to be but this is definitely um spiritual spirituality divine protection your angels your ancestors mm-hmm What's what is this distant horizons? What is this distant horizons about? Oh god. What is this distant horizons? Yeah, hangman. Hangman. Um This could be enlightenment. This is a major arcana for Pisces. Divine Feminine, the hangman. I'm going to get back to that hangman. Because I don't think that is good. I don't think this energy is good. But I'm going to get back to it. I'm going to put an oracle on it. But this right here, I don't think this is good. I don't think this is good. But Divine Feminine, whatever that is, you're, being, you're healing and or being protected from that. What's going on with Divine Feminine? Concerning disruption and change. Yeah, three of cups. There was some type of disruption, Divine Feminine. Divine Feminine, you could have found out about a third party. You could have found out your Divine Masculine is with the karmic or was with the karmic. Um, Because it's disruption. Or Divine Feminine, like I said, I'm getting some of y'all Divine Feminines watching this. Y'all was married to the, a karmic. So it's like, you you know, there was a disruption to your Three of Cups. The Three of Cups is like a celebration. Um, family, being social, celebrating. There was a disruption to this Three of Cups. Something changed. It's like the party is over. It was a disruption to this Three of Cups. The Three of Cups could be a, a wedding. Divine Feminine, you probably had to call off a wedding. What's going on with Divine Masculine? With Yin Yang and Gift. What's going on with Divine Masculine after dark? Yin Yang and Gift. Yeah, the Ace of Wands. Ace of Wands, so your Divine Masculine, I'm getting, he's getting an opportunity to start a passionate new beginning. Whether that passionate new beginning could be his spiritual, him being spiritually awakened, this passionate new beginning could be from for concerning himself, like to become a better person, not only for you, Divine Feminine, but for himself. Um, or this Ace of Wands could be a passionate new beginning with you. Clear, what's going on with Divine Masculine with Wisdom and False Person? Wisdom and False Person. Page of Swords. Mm-hmm. Yep. Your divine masculine got the wisdom that he need concerning this false person in this page of swords energy. So the page of swords is somebody that's spying on someone, stalking someone, lying on someone, lying to someone, 
telling a little white lie, not telling the truth. Page of Swords. So, this false person was not only doing something behind somebody's back. They was doing something without somebody realizing it as well. Mm hmm This false person, is this Divine Masculine? Mm-hmm. That's him. Your Divine Masculine, he realized it now. And he real, he's realizing it that he was being fake and phony. A false person lying to you, Divine Feminine, when he was with the karmic. So, it's like, that's your divine masculine leaving behind the life he had with that karmic. Like, he could be being nostalgic a little bit. Thinking about the karmic. If he was with that karmic, he could have been married to the karmic. Yeah, he got wisdom. He's leaving that, that behind. Whatever family they had together, their connection, he's leaving that behind. Because that's when he was being a false person. In that page of source energy. Your divine masculine was lying on you. Lying to you. Lying about you divine feminine. Spying on you. Yeah. Yep. And I'm getting divine feminine. Your divine masculine is or was so busy being this false person. That when he went spying on you, he saw the truth. When he went spying on you, being this false person, he saw some type of truth. And it's like he couldn't deny it. He could not deny whatever this truth, whatever he saw when he was spying on you, he can't deny it. He can't deny it. Yep. Yep. <laughs> That's why he's being passive right now. He's in his feminine energy, his yin energy. And he wants to offer you this passionate new beginning, divine feminine, but he can't right now. He wants to offer you this. He now knows you deserve this. This gift and this passionate new beginning. But it's like he can't come towards you because he just he's just now figuring out he was wrong. Yeah, he's just now figuring figuring it out. Um, disruption. Is this past energy? Y'all gotta excuse my chair. I gotta get a new chair. This disruption, is this past energy? Uh-uh. Yeah, Divine Feminine, you are being healed. After dark hours, you being healed from something that changed. Yeah. And there's three of cups. It could have been a third party situation. Or like I said, Divine Feminine, you could have been with a karmic yourself. Or if your Divine Masculine is still with that karmic. He's probably not in contact with you or reaching out to you. Because it's letting me know he's passive. So he's not taking action towards you. That's because he's um getting convicted. He's realizing he's getting downloads. So, yeah, Divine Feminine, you don't like that. Disruption. I think this is like the tower. Yeah, Divine Feminine, you having a tower moment around the third party. Clarify this three of cups. I got to hurry up. Clarify the three of cups. Clarify the three of cups. Yeah, the Ace of Swords. Divine Feminine, you got some type of truth. You got some type of truth about this Three of Cups. And you did, you do not like it. Mm -hmm. You got some type of truth. Or this could also be letting me know too, Divine Feminine, since the angel of love is your energy, there was a change to you being in this energy. Like, you having this tower moment, it, it stopped. Your tower moment could be over. 
And you three, you three cups. You three cups and you got some type of victory. So three cups, that's like you. <sighs> this is like you getting some type of truth and clarity that your divine masculine is likely to reunite in the near future. Because something changed, like this disruption, because you, you got angel of love, so you're getting... You're being protected and you're healing. So, of course, this, uh -uh. I think you. this is stopped. And I heard mid-ear. Mid-ear. And that's kind of like what the Ace of Swords is. Mid, in, in, in the mid-ear. Mid so, Divine Feminine, you could have gotten a download intuitive, intuitively as well that you and your Divine Masculine We'll be together again. Y'all will reunite. I got like 10 more minutes. That's what I'm getting a little bit. So it's like once you got this ace of swords, this truth, this clarity, this breakthrough, this truth. It's like your tower moment was over. You done with your tower moment. It's like, because you got it's some healing. After dark reading, Divine Feminine versus Divine Masculine. Let me put an oracle. What's going on with Divine Feminine with Angel of Love? Give me an oracle for that. Yeah, Summer. Yep, Summer. <coughs> Divine Feminine, you getting downloads. This higher front right here. This is the presence of God. <coughs> Excuse me. The higher front is the presence of God. The King of Swords, to me, is the presence of God as well, sometimes. And the King of Swords, what the King of Swords, when you get this truth, the King of Swords and then the Ace of Swords, you're going to get some type of truth, possibly even, I'm getting this a download though, but whatever this distant horizons was, Divine Feminine, if you was under some type of illusion or possibly under some type of spell work, this King of Swords right here, he going to cut through all that. He's cutting through this. He's cutting that out. That distant horizons and that hangman. The King of Swords is going to cut that out. So, I don't know. Something about the summer. You could, your, you know, your higher self could be, I mean, you could be having a dream, Divine Feminine. That something is going to manifest for you in the summertime. The summer coming up. Um, Let me see. What's going on with this Distant Horizons? What is this? What is this Distant Horizons telling me? Settling. Settling. Let me see. This Distant Horizons, was this like an illusion? Some type of illusion? Yeah, yep. Divine Feminine, you could, was under some type of illusion or some spell work. And this energy, you were settling for what you deserve. You were settling, settling for less than what you deserve under this illusion. Because you was delayed. You was hangman. You was hangman. You was delayed. And um, you were settling for less than what you deserve. That's why... Like I said, this King of Swords, this is the most high to me as well. He's cutting all that out. He cutting that out because you're being healed and protected. And you're getting truth, not an illusion. You're getting, it's like you're getting delivered from a lie and some type of illusion and or spell work. Yeah. There's something about the summer. Something about the summer. Give me an oracle for disruption and change in this energy right here for Divine Feminine. Yeah, healing. Yep. You being healed after dark hours, Divine Feminine. From whatever this tower moment was, you're being healed because I'm getting, you getting some truth. You getting some type of truth and I'm getting this a spiritual download. This is not like somebody calling you on the phone and telling you something. This is your intuition. This is your angels and ancestors 
giving you some type of truth that you can bank on. That's what I want. That's what I want to say. You getting some type of truth that you can take to take to the bank. Yep. And like I said, it could even be a dream. Like when you go to sleep tonight, whenever you go to sleep or you can get a download while you're sleeping. Give me an oracle for divine masculine with yin yang energy with gift. Yeah, recognition. Yeah, your divine masculine. He see he see now. He recognized certain things. And I get divine feminine. He's recognizing that he took you for granted. He took you for granted, but he recognized it now. But it's like he's not going to take action towards you right right now because he's just now realizing it. Um, give me an oracle for a wisdom and false person. Yeah, new direction. Yep, your divine masculine, he, him being this false person, full of drama, because the, the false person is a drama king, a drama queen, just dr drama. Your divine masculine is going in a new direction because of wisdom. And if he was married to that karmic, he leaving that karmic. He leaving that karmic. If he wasn't married to a karmic, whoever your divine masculine was living with, he's leaving. He leaving because of wisdom. Yep, he's going in a new direction. So it's like your divine masculine is trusting his intuition as well. He's he's trusting his intuition. And he's going to make some type of move. He's going in a new direction according to his intuition. That's what this divine masculine is doing. So it's like if he don't physically do something about his newfound wisdom and knowledge, it's like what he is going to do is start believing it. He's going to, from within, he's just going to believe it. Because some people can get downloads and not believe it. So this divine masculine, if he's not going to physically make some type of change concerning what he know now, he's just going to believe it. Yeah, he's going to start believing. Mm-hmm. In you, possibly. Because I'm getting your divine masculine. He's recognizing your gifts as well, divine feminine. Yep. So, what I got? I got like five minutes. So, let me put one more oracle on this energy. This is, um, what's the tea deck? After dark reading, divine feminine versus divine masculine. After dark reading. Let me hurry up. So, give me an oracle for, for the summer, the divine feminine. Ooh. Give me an oracle for the summer, divine feminine. Mmm, wow. Yeah, curious about you. Curious about you. Mm hmm So, Divine Feminine, what's going on is since the Most High is in your energy so strong and you're so protected and heal, you're healing. Um, It's a lot of healing energy around you, Divine Feminine, that your Divine Masculine is becoming curious about you. Curious about you. Um, something could have happened in the summer too. Let me see this summer. Let me see. Something could have happened. Summer. Is this the summer coming up? Oh yeah. Okay. Uh, so whatever type of healing and blessings the universe is doing for you, Divine Feminine, tonight. Whatever they're process they're taking you through concerning love and healing your divine masculine is going to become curious about you because of what the most high is doing for you and through you your divine masculine is becoming curious about you that's what i'm getting is something is going to happen for you in the summer whatever spirit is doing for you now divine feminine something significant is going to happen for you in the summer 
Give me a or another oracle for healing for Divine Feminine. Idol, loved, respected, admired, idolized fan. Yeah. Um, Divine Feminine, because you did your work, because you're healing, because the Most High is in your energy, you are loved, respected, and admired. Ad admired. Whether this is by other people and or your Divine Masculine. And I'm going to say your Divine Masculine because this y'all reading. So you are like an idol to your Divine Masculine. You could be a superstar in his eyes. Divine Feminine, you could literally be a star. You could be famous. If not, this is how your, your Divine Masculine view you as a star. You're someone special to him in his eyes because you're healing. Yeah, that's Mariah Carey. So I don't know, Divine Feminine, you probably can sing. You probably got, you probably can sing. But I'm getting, you are loved and respected and admired. Um, If not by your Divine Masculine, by the universe. By the universe. But I'm getting by your divine masculine too. Mm hmm Cause whatever this tower this tower moment was, divine feminine, you that's done. That's done. That's done. Cause you got some some truth you could take to the bank. And you three cups, you happy. Give me another um oracle for divine masculine with recognition. What's going on with him with recognition? <laughs> and say looking you up <clears throat> your divine masculine looking you up yeah um researching you studying you getting info mm -hmm. he's recognizing certain things about you divine feminine he could be realizing you are his soulmate he could be realizing y'all twin he could be realizing like your intuitive gifts he want to know what this is yeah, so he's looking you up because he's recognizing something. If your divine masculine live out of state from you, divine feminine, he looking for you. If y'all haven't talked in months or years, he's looking for you. He could be looking for you on Facebook. I gotta hurry up. Give me an oracle for divine masculine for um new direction. Yeah, he's moving in silence. Yep, that's what I said. Because he, spirit got him in that, his feminine energy. So he not going to take too much action towards you. He ain't going to make too much noise. He moving in silence. Yeah. So I'm going to end it at that because it's about to start recording. So this is Blood Queen Tarot. Please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and or share. This is your After Dark reading for Divine Feminine versus Divine Masculine. Let me, let me put an oracle on False Person. Give me an oracle for Divine Master when he was a false person. Mm. Obsessive lover. Obsessive. It's a dangerous, toxic, unhealthy, possessiveness, karmic. Mm -hmm. That um, false person could be the karmic as well. That false person could be the karmic. Yep. So, Divine Feminine, that's what I have for you. That, um, well, not Divine Feminine, but Collective. That's um After Dark Reading. Yeah, this false person could be that karmic as well. And it's like when he was with the karmic, when your Divine Masculine was with the karmic, all he could do was spy on you, Divine Feminine. He probably wasn't communicating with you. Or that's, you know. All right, so let me end it before it cut off. Um, again, this is Blood Queen Tarot. Please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and or share. Thank you.